So we need to get rid of lonely. I forget how the... Oh, pressure. That's how we need to do. Yeah, but that'll increase our yielding. Which takes away... Willful. Willful. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Yeah, and our willful is already high enough. I think it'll be all right. Yep. Yeah, it's still the highest one Since there. bullshit's going down, I'd switch a skill to military. Okay, let's keep let's keep the magic thing going, though, because I have a feeling that's yeah. going to get to be some... No, I changed my mind. Let's just both do military. Strategy. Strategy and logistics. Fuck yeah. the Navy. <laughs> yeah, this is a simple thing. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. Oh, nice. Willful bonus. Oh. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. The negotiator for the rebels has arrived to speak with you. Surrender now and I will be lenient. <laughs> we are not here for our surrender. We are here for yours. Suck a dick. You have one chance to avoid needless bloodshed. Agree to marry one of Duchess Aris's sons. She will become your regent and guide the domain into stability. You will be allowed to maintain a figurehead title. <laughs> Fuck you, suggest a com- nope. Fuck that. I am the queen, and I will not give in to threats. Since we cannot come to an agreement, we will meet you on the battlefield. Fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, I wonder if your dad is shitting a brick over there for, you know, the fact that you dragged him into this. It's kind of terrible. Okay. Mood's still good. Mood is very good, in fact. Stick with the same classes, probably. We need to make sure our military knowledge is yes. solid for when this when shit gets real. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation and making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. Look at it! You study- she's smarter than me. She could play me in <laughs> Age of Empires and destroy me. She can kick my ass at Fire Emblem. You study the kinds of equipment the soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, bandages, and the tools to repair she anything kick damaged. My ass at Spectral Force. You study different kinds of transport animals, wagons, sleds, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. Yay, boots. War rages for control of Nova. As defending queen, you are required to take personal control of your forces. Your control of magic enhances your claim to divine right of rulership. But we're shit at magic. Battles were won and lost. Fallen soldiers decorating the landscape. Ugh. The final outcome is victory for your side. Whew! Just in time. Your forces... I, I mean, just in time for those military tactics. Your forces sweep through the rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local population. Aris, the ringleader, is executed, and the other rebels forced to pay tribute to keep their holdings. Of course, there is also a cost paid in lives. Total casualties were one and a half battalions on your side, and one and a quarter battalions among the rebels. Your stronger position and strategy made you able to win despite your losses. Of course, there are no more rebel soldiers now. They are once more your loyal subjects. So, yay? Yay, let's keep on one of the strats, though, because... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we need to... We really do need to keep pressured up, because we're just... Yeah, we're, we're lonely as fuck. But it, it works out, because even though we gain two yielding here, yeah, like, we can get it back here, so... Yeah, but that'll increase our... Yeah, we can get it back there. Yeah, we can get it back here, so yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to stick with military strategy. And what do you want to change the other two? You want to go back to uh, figuring out our magic abilities? You might want to go to divination. No, because all that shit's passed. So resist or wield magic, one of the two. Um, What do you think? She's pissed off. Let's make sure she's an offensive mage. She'll be a black mage. You learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense, and that probably locks it. You may now tour the barracks on the weekends. 
Your skill and strategy is now 50. You may not increase the skill until your other military skills so are 25 or higher. So we need to switch to naval strategy. Correct. You learn to summon a small glowing light, which you can then move around independently. Wow, that's a lot of magic. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea! <laughs> Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer as prizes to the winners? Mm. Leave that to a coin, or what do you think? Mm. I want to. I, I think we should throw a status and praise because, as wonderful as that is, I think we'll draw more people for employment or gold. Yeah. So, so we have the cash. Let's just stick with gold. Well, or employment because whoever wins should be can come into our retinue and actually help us out in the future. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's do employment. The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. <laughs> She's so happy. Very well, I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. Someone on the hall, Dewey, is being lazy. These flowers should be replaced. Divination failed. That's not good. You continue up the stairs to your room, where a maid is waiting for you. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, my lady, a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kabbalah River. You tear open the brightly <laughs> colored paper to find... Chocolates! Don't eat them. Oh, okay. Chocolate <laughs> producers in Kigal usually ship goods down the Napa River through Ursul, not straight to the capital. This merchant house probably specializes in something else and only traded for the chocolate. There is a little card with the box. With our compliments, the House of Kralat. Save it for later, test dogs. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of failures there. We should probably save it. Well, don't you think? Yes. I'm getting a bad idea if all those failures are coming across. I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. <laughs> Alright, so there's the barracks. So we lose Willful, and we gain Pressured. It's probably a bad idea since we're keeping Willful going, right? Yeah. So... That'll bring down our Willful even more. Yeah, let's just stick with Visit the Treasury to recover it a little bit. We have 10,000 monies. Awesome. Lots of monies. Okay. Still no other outfits? All right. So classes, we're going to do naval strategy and continue to wield magic or something else. Mm, we should go for divination since a whole shitload of Again. shiz is going down. I didn't cap that, did I? Divination? divination? No. Uh, no, it's at 22.5. Okay. Yeah. We also might want to switch to meditation. You learn that the sea is not something you hold. It is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures your, ensures your free travel while denying it to your enemies. You study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. She's becoming Edward. Ah! Captain, what the hell is his last name? Oh, God. Kenway. Kenway. Oh, God. Captain Kenway. I almost said Snowden, and I knew that wasn't right. You read about well-known signs of bad fortune. Wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born. God, that's scary. And so on. All right. <laughs> this is the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it would expose you to danger. What event do you wish to take part in? Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, well, we suck at falconry, we suck at music, we suck at archery, suck at fencing, suck at jousting. What is the mounted parade? Let's do it, bitch. I don't think That's the only one we're not shit at, apparently. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're very good with horses either. We kind of suck at all this. Yeah. So let's not embarrass ourselves? Good idea. I guess I'll just watch from my tower. <laughs> oh, I made her depressed. The tournament goes on without you. After the tournament, a minor tragedy is revealed. One of the stewards apparently had an incredible sweet tooth and dared to steal a piece of your recently received chocolates. He had a sweet tooth. The chocolates were poisoned. When you ask questions, it turns out the merchant house which supposedly sent you this present never existed. Someone has tried to kill you. 
but you don't know who. Probably the Kigal douche. Yeah, I just realized, I wonder if we would have passed the test of eating them since we have such high poisoning attributes. Or we would have been able to counter it or something. Mm. Our poison attribute is high, but our healing attribute isn't all that great. Minus one depressed? Usually it's minus one anger. I wonder if the attend service basically like lowers your worst mood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're still doing pretty good here. All right, so one more naval strategy and one more divination? Yep. All right. You study different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. You learn about the requ requirement for all civilized sailors to re rescue the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You unlocked a new outfit. You read about the signs that have presaged famous disasters, such as the seas running red before the doom shadow fell upon Nova 200 years ago. You read about King Latimer, Latimer, and how he knew that he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown in a spider's web. And we have hit 50 capped in divination. My lady, your father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. This game's pretty addictive. I'll be there in a minute. There's someone I have to talk to first. Maybe I shouldn't have broken immersion. You wait for the maid to leave, then hurry off to rendezvous with your agent. Greetings, your highness. I trust that you are well. I'm fine, so far. I have just returned from the Duchy of Kigal. We've made a number of discreet inquiries and infiltrated much of the Duke's private correspondence. The Duke of Kigal is certainly not your greatest supporter. However, he seems entirely preoccupied with restoring the stability of the Duchy. We find no evidence that his family was involved in the attempt on your life. I suppose that's a relief, but that means we still don't know who did it. Aren't you supposed to detect these things before they happen? A political coup requires allies, signals, and coordination. Assassins work alone. They leave far fewer traces. Fine. Get back to work then. I have other things to do. I need to speak with my father. You find your father standing over a map of the coastline, his face grave. Ships have been sighted on approach from Shinjia. Shedinja, indeed. <laughs> Not trade ships. This is a war fleet. What? Within a week, they will be in Novan waters. Within two, they could reach the capital. Then we will fight to defend ourselves. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it may be difficult on such short notice. What do you think? We got a bunch in the treasury. Let's yep, try and recruit We have them. boatloads of money. Fine, we'll do that. You will need to draw up a naval strategy for our ships to carry out. You could choose to act as admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. I'm not very good at naval skills yet, so no. Unless you think your personal skills will make the difference, I would strongly advise against it. So you don't think so? No, they're only in the early 20s, aren't they? No, we got them up to like 40. Oh, direct the fleet then. Fuck it. <laughs> the risk is mine to take. You have your mother's heart. And her jewel, bitch! <laughs> there is one more thing. I hesitate to ask, but... An invasion. This is the sort of disaster for which Illumin's power may be worth the cost. If the fleet could be destroyed before they reached our waters, many lives would be saved. I didn't know any magic that could sink a whole fleet. I'll have to talk to my mentor. So apparently he knows that you stole the crystal? I guess. You find the Duchess of Ursul in her guest quarters. A fleet from Shangia is attacking us. Is it possible to sink them all with magic? It's easy enough to attack one soldier, one ship as a demonstration. But to obliterate an entire fleet. You would need an, you would need an immense power immense amount of power spread over a large area, more than any one lumen can control. If you tried to raise that much power yourself, you would die. Not could. Would. So it's hopeless. We'll just have to rely on our soldiers. We'll be fine. Alright, so what are we doing? You want to tour the barracks and say hi to everyone before they all die? Good cl <laughs> good idea. You are impressed by the discipline of the Novan troops, but the responsibility for their lives weighs heavily on your shoulders. There are approximately seven battalions, three companies, and one platoon under your direct command. I mentioned before, off camera, that I uh, have not memorized what all those numbers mean, and it's pissing me off. 
All right, so yeah, our naval strategy is 43.6. Our logistics is 34.9. I say we put, we do strategy and naval strategy for this next one since we're having issues. Yeah, definitely. But we have a new outfit. Uniform boosts military. She's so cute. Let's keep her. We are. And we are going to go with naval strategy and strategy since we're boosting them anyway. Fuck yes. Look at that. Look at that jump. 23 points. You learn about the challenges to naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather as well as the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown I'm coastline. Her into England. You learn about the use of ships and transporting ground soldiers between locations. You study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to thrown fire and sand, and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. That'll be useful on water. You, <laughs> you study the use of cavalry in battle, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. Uh-oh. Danger on the high seas. Ships close in on each other, angling into range. You take your position with a spyglass, watching the enemy movements closely and shouting out any necessary changes in plan. The Shedinja forces greatly outnumber the Novens. This is unlikely to end well. If only you had more soldiers available. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. The Noven ships are sunk or scattered, and the Shedinja forces press towards landfall. Your grasp of strategy allows you to recognize when the tipping point has been passed, and order your remaining vessels to retreat before they are all, before they are all destroyed. This saves lives, but it means the Noven approach completely unguarded. Many good soldiers were lost today, and Nova's troubles have not ended. Since you have failed to repel the invasion, the Shedinja fleet will soon land and their troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. Your remaining soldiers will hold them off as long as possible, of course, but the main strength of your military has been exhausted. Nova's future looks bleak. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Mm. Visit the grave so we tell Mom that we're probably coming for her soon? Visit the treasury is question marks? Let's Try do it. it. Uh, plus one willful. Eh, weird. Okay, whatever. All right, oh, well... Oh, yeah, because you're in your naval outfit and not... Oh, that's right. All right, well, naval strategy strategy is done. Let's do that. Um, I would switch to weapons. Uh, let's get ourselves some... We could double that up so we actually have some sort of... Yeah. What do you think? Two yeah. classes and swords? Um, how are our lumen? Because... Yeah, magic might get involved here. Sense magic is 43, wield magic is 17.6. Maybe swords and wield magic so we yes. become a spell sword? Yes, it's my class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You take up a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. You learn how to cast rays of white light which can be which can banish shadows and blind your opponents. You learn to create tiny disks of solid light which can fly through the air and cut in, into targets. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shedinja control. Soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields and frightening citizens. A diplomatic delegation from Shedinja has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem that you have no choice. You prepare yourself as best you can to meet with the representatives from Shedinja. You expected diplomats and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you. A man announced by your servants as Tamagotchi. King of Shedinja. Really? Why not? Really? They're king? Why would a king come all the way here? My... Uh, wow. Creepy. My dear... <clears throat> Wait, let me swallow the mic for this one. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So much responsibility at such a tender age. Don't pretend to be my friend while you're killing my people. Temper, temper, princess. After all, I am here to save your people. War benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. A contest, a game, so to speak, 
with Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. What sort of game? It is well known that Nova is ruled by Lumens. As it happens, I too possess the power of a Lumen. I propose a formal duel, my powers against yours. The winner takes control of Nova, the loser dies. Your game by your rules for my life? That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of formal dueling have been passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It is important that we do this by the ancient codes. Why should I? If you refuse, then the war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you meet me in a formal Lumen challenge, I'll call off the invasion even if I win. Really? I swear it by the gods. Nova will be free and safe. Why take that risk? You're winning the war. It's not your land that I want. It's your crystal. To gain your power, I am willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? I don't like this, but what choice do I have? Okay, so what do you think? Should we accept his terms? Just try to marry him and be done with him? Or say fuck it and continue trying this war? Let's accept his terms. Cause, really? Yeah, fuck this guy. He's a douche. I have he a f- smells like onions. <laughs> Sorry, that's the really hot salsa I had for dinner. Then I must. Tamagotchi explains the rules of formal dueling to you, including a carefully inscribed circle of wards which will contain the effects of any powers you wield protecting bystanders from danger. And then it is time to begin. Unfortunately, you know nothing about safely blocking or absorbing magical attacks. You can only dodge them physically. And trapped within the confined space of a worded circle, you are inevitably going to fail. Oh, we lost. That looks like a floating sperm above me. I mean, I know it's her soul, but it just looks like a floating sperm with a halo. Anyway, we didn't just lose. We lost hard. Oh, that black circle was worse. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again. We're going to save, but this is a good reason for you guys to buy the game. Whoa, okay. I don't know if that just black screened on you or if that even is messed up. But my point is, I just clicked a thing. We can see the log, uh, which can be posted to the website. Or you can even see uh, the, um, the log on a web browser. Regardless, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um... I don't know if we'll do a replay of this. It depends on whether you guys want to see a replay, but we uh, yeah. definitely try to pick up this game on Steam. It's only like 10 bucks. I think right now it's five because of the holiday sale. I'm going to totally play this game while you're at work. I feel that. So it's thanks for watching, looking. everyone. We're going to keep doing this type of... We're uh, going to keep doing the thing. We're going to keep doing the thing. Thanks. Oh, it was made with Renpy. Cool. What? What's Renpy? It's a... What's the one I'm looking for? Oh, look at achievements. Yeah. Died at least once? Yeah, we have... It's... <laughs> been blasted uh, by magic. Sir, Cute. But what's the word I'm looking for? It's the thing you build games on. The oh, it's an engine? Engine, there you go. So, yeah, so we didn't do all that great, but we got pretty far. I'm actually looking forward to playing this again, whether it's on camera or not, but regardless... Uh, yeah, just keep tuned into the channel. We'll try to keep doing more story games like this. I also have another one, like I said before, Monster Loves You. We'll do that one soon. Yeah, any final words there, Akamura? That's almost an upskirt. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye!